Myers-Briggs personality types. 16 personality types that together comprise most of the people of the world. Do you already know what your Myers-Briggs type is? If not, perhaps you're going to learn today, because today we're going to be learning about a little bit about each and every one of the 16 personality types and characters from Harry Potter that represent those personalities. Let's get started. Welcome back to Starship Lockjaw, your daily video podcast where we learn internet subculture every single day. Uh, if this is your first time here, you should subscribe. You won't regret it. Let's, like I said, we're going to be talking about 16 personalities, Myers-Briggs, and if you don't already know this, let me spell it out for you here. Let me spell it out here. Myers-Briggs personality types consist of four letters. Letter, the first letter is either I or an E. Are you introverted or extroverted? The second letter is going to be either an S or an N, and that's are you sensing or are you very strong intuition? Sensing or intuition? Out your head or in your head, right? Next is thinking or feeling. Are you more of a thinker that thinks about everything, or are you more of a feeler who feels everything? And then, of course, the last letter is going to be either J or a P, and that is are you more judgmental or are you more perceiving? Mine is INFJ. What's yours? Let's get started. Let's learn. We're starting off with Snape. So, Snape is an ISTJ, the examiner. Snape was a mean cookie, bro. He was a mean cookie. Let's check this out here. Defined by their honor and duty. Take any task seriously and give it more than their best. Someone reserved and prefer to work alone, but can make great team members if the need arises. Deeply value traditions and loyalty and often put duty before pleasure. Okay. ISTJ. Oh. Nice. Okay. Any ISTJs there? I need to know what you are. You need to let me know. You need to let me know. Uh, I don't think I'd like to hang out with Snape. I wouldn't like to hang out with Snape. He's just, you know, I knew from the very get-go that he's... he's uh, all right. Oh, ISFJ, the defender. Okay, that's Neville. So Neville Longbottom. Uh, introverted, sensing, feeling, judging. Okay, so the only difference between us is going to be that uh, he's more sensing and the INFJ, we're more intuitive. Okay, let's see what he's talking about. So he's traditional, loyal, kind, and observant of others. Value stability and cultural norms and are often consistent. He's a normie <laughs> and are often consistent with work. Known for their kindness and willingness to go to any length to help those in need. Strive to create an orderly environment. Nice. That's a good person, bro. Neville's a good person, man. Nice. Any ISFJs out there, baby? You gotta let me know. Nice. Why not Neville? Pound it for Neville. Pound it real hard for Neville. Leave me a comment right now that says pound it real hard for Neville. I like you, Neville. I like you. Next up, we have the INFJ, which is Remus. Okay, Remus is an INFJ, the counselor. Hey, pound it. That's what I am too, brother. We're introverted, intuitive, feeling, judging. Okay. We seek meaning and connection in ideas, relationships, and the natural world. We want to understand what motivates people and are insightful about others. Organized and decisive in implementing their ideas. We're private, intuitive, and complex by nature. Nice. I think you make us sound a little bit more complicated than we are, but yeah, we're cool, baby, we're cool. Nice, pound it real hard for INFJs. I think most of y'all here, most of our audience here, y'all are INFJ or INFP, so. Good people, good people. What's up, babe? What's up? You doing all right today? I'm glad to have you here. Okay, let's go on to our next row. Uh, you're the Wizard of Harry. Look, it's our boy Harry, man. He's not kidding. Look at all aesthetic and juicy bra. Uh, okay, the Craftsman, ISTP. ISTP. Okay, so introverted, sensing, thinking, perceiving. Harry Potter is fiercely independent, adventuresome. They don't like much attention. They're more interested in their own pursuits rather than others. Do not believe in rules as they prohibit their ability to do their own thing. Organize facts using logical principles and value efficiency. Nice. Yeah. Harry's cool, man. You guys like Harry Potter? Any ISTPs? Harry was cool, man. He was a... Uh... Would you be friends with Harry Potter in real life? I don't know. I don't want to sound like a bad person or anything, but I don't really think I would like... Uh... 
I don't know. I like Harry Potter. I just I don't think we'd really like have much to talk about, man. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Okay. We got Hagrid. What's up, Hagrid? Look at Hagrid's beard. Always, always admiring the beard. Always admiring the aesthetics on the hair, the be everything. Just on point, man. Do you use a? Do you put castor oil in it? Do you rub? Well, looks max. Looks max. Take the shaman pill. Quiet, friendly, sensitive, and kind. Loyal and committed to the people and values that they care about. Dislike disagreements and conflicts, and do not force their opinions on others. Like to have their own space and often take matters too personally. And that's the artist, by the way. What was Harry's? Harry's was the craftsman. The craftsman. Nice. Yeah. Uh. So Hag Hagrid is the artist. Nice. ISFP. Hmm. They make everybody sound good, don't they? They make everybody sound good, baby. Okay. Uh, hey, we got I, we got the dreamer. We got Luna Lovegood. INFP. Found it for all the INFPs here. Y'all are wonderful. I love INFPs. Y'all are amazing people. I mean, Luna. Hello. Luna Lovegood, huh? Introverted, intuitive, feeling, perceiving. Hey, hey, you gotta be, you gotta be sensitive with the INFPs, though. You don't want to hurt the INFP. You want to make them feel loved and cared about and treat them right and take care of them and treat them well. You gotta do that with the INFPs. They're good people. They're idealistic, loyal to their values and to the people who are important to them. Curious, quick to see possibilities, can be catalysts for implementing ideas. Seek to understand people and help them fulfill their potential. Adaptable, flexible, and accepting. Yeah. Yeah, INFPs are awesome. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Hell yeah. All right. Um. Okay. Ooh. ESTP promoter. We got Ginny Weasley. Oh, sounds like she ain't kidding. All right. ESTPs. Let's check it out. Flexible and tolerant. Doesn't she look feisty? She looks feisty there, brother. Flexible and tolerant. They want to act energetically to solve their problems using their quick wit and cleverness. They excel at selling their ideas, enjoy activities involving physical action and risk-taking, and especially thrive on the spirit of competition. ESTPs. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I don't think I've ever known an ES... Not, not that I remember. ESTP. Okay. Okay. I was really kidding. The promoter. Uh, all right. We got, we got the brothers here. We got Fred and George Weasley. They're both ESFPs. The performers. By the way, we'll look into each and every personality type in more depth later on. We've already looked into a few of them. Hey, if you haven't seen some of the videos, we, we've already looked at INFJ, INFP. I'll put a little card up there in the corner if you might be interested. But let's, we're just kind of skimming through it all right now, just skimming the surface here. So ESFP, they're uh, outgoing, friendly, and accepting. Exuberant lovers of life people and material comforts. Enjoy working with others to make things happen and make work fun. Flexible and spontaneous. They adapt readily to new people and environments. They really don't like being alone. ESFPs. Oh, huh. okay, interesting. Very interesting. And then we got ENFP. So Ron is an ENFP then, the champion. How, how come he gets to be a champ? How come the ENFP gets to be a champion? Warm, enthusiastic, energetic, and full of ambition. Adaptable to many situations and often see the future possibilities in life. Excel in many aspects of what they do and hold friends close to their heart. Firm believer that life is for the living. Nice. Well, that's cool. Yeah, Ron was the champion, brother. Uh, didn't Ron, in the end, once they grew up, it wasn't Ron, Ron is the one who, you, you know what I'm talking about, right? He's the one who got, <laughs> you ain't kidding, brother. All right. He was the champion. He was the champion, baby. All right. And then we got Sirius Black, who was the inventor, the ENTP. Quick, ingenious, stimulating, alert, and outspoken. Resourceful in solving new and challenging problems. Adept at generating conceptual possibilities and then analyzing them strategically. Bored by routine. Will seldom do the same thing the same way. ENTPs. Yeah. They sound like they got some good wits about them. Nice. That's pretty cool. Nice. Any ENTPs out here? Alright, and we got a few more. Let's finish this up. Let's finish this up. 
Uh, all right, so we've got Minerva, and she's the supervisor. She's a supervisor, all right. ESTJ. She's practical, realistic, matter of fact, and quick to implement decisions. Organize projects and people to get things done. Focus on getting results in the most efficient way possible and take care of routine details. Forceful in implementing their plans. Yeah. Like, all I can think is, is teacher, right? Like, teacher. Like, like the boring kinds of teacher. You know, the teacher who don't make stuff fun. No offense, Minerva. No offense, Minerva. But yeah. But no, ESTJ is good. Cool, cool stuff. Cool stuff. Very, very direct. I admire that. I admire that. Oh, yeah. All right. And then, uh, okay, so the provider. We've got Lily Evans Potter. All right, we've got Harry Potter's mom. ESFJ. Warm-hearted. Conscientious and cooperative. Want harmony in their world and work with determination to establish it. They like to work with others to complete tasks accurately and on time. Notice what others need in their day-to-day -day lives and try to provide it. Nice! Providers, that's good! ESFJ. Yeah. Very cool. Oh, we got Dumbledore, brother. Let's see what Dumbledore is talking about. So he's an ENFJ. Nice, nice. ENFJ, nice. Warm, empathic, responsive, and responsible. Highly attuned to the emotions, needs, and motivations of others. Find potential in others. Want to help them fulfill it. May act as a catalyst for individual and group growth. Provide inspiring leadership. Oh yeah, Dumbledore was good, man. He was cool. Hey, Dumbledore versus Gandalf. Who takes all? Who's the winner? Who do you like more? Tell me, tell me that. Like, if, not if they reverse each other, but who do you like more, man? They're both cool, man. They're both really cool. Man, I don't know. That's a hard choice. That's a hard choice, brother. I choose Merlin. How about that, Merlin? All right, let's continue. Uh, Dumbledore was cool. And then, uh, okay, so then we've got the Maverick, which is James Potter. They made James look pretty cool here, man. He, he looks cool here. On the, on the movie, he looked like Harry Potter's dad or something. Uh, so Harry Potter's dad is blunt, decisive, and quick to assume leadership. They quickly see illogical and inefficient procedures and policies. They develop comprehensive systems to solve problems. They enjoy long-term planning and goal setting. Forceful and enthusiastic about their ideas. Nice, nice, yeah. Yeah, Harry's parents, man, that was just always one of the just the saddest parts. I mean, hey, it was good for the story. It was really good. It made you feel very connected to Harry with, with what happened, but, um, but man, that was, that was sad. Well, that was very brief, very brief overview. We will be learning more about the personality types uh, very, very soon. Some about that picture of Harry, brother. He looks like he ain't kidding, man. He's like, yeah, I'm Harry Potter. He's like, you know what's up, brother. What is your type? Let me know what your type is before you leave. Also, please hit the thumbs up before you leave. Really helps me out. And uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you guys very, very soon uh, with some more. We'll learn some more. We'll learn some more. Look at, look at Malfoy, brother. Look at Malfoy. He's a jerk, dude. Malfoy, right there, brother. Right there. You ain't kidding. Uh, I'll see you soon. Get out of here. Thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up. Do it. Just do it. Sure, you can do it. Try to catch you some lockjaw. Try to service your dad. Oh, man.